what Charlie Belcher has cooking for us this morning. Yum o. Yes, yeah, stick around. You're going to meet the family behind Indo Chinois, and you're also going to learn some tips on attempting Vietnamese cooking in your own kitchen when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Great restaurant that's in a new location. Good morning. Yes, we are at Indo Chinois, and coming up in the 8 o'clock hour, we're going to teach you at home how to make your very own spring rolls. Mike over here, and the entire Wynn family, look at them all. We're going to be here, and you're going to teach me how to make spring rolls. Make them from fresh spring rolls. I cannot wait, and I know you can't either. I hope your morning is off to a great start, and we all hope you have a good day, Tampa Bay. Good day, Tampa Bay. Charlie Belcher here hanging out at Indo Chinois this morning on Dale Mabry. And I want you to meet the Wynn family, the family behind Indo Chinois. Sticking together, Mike Wynn right here. Mike, introduce your family for me real quick. This is my uncle, Bon, my mother, Doi, and my father, Ann. And, and it's, a, it's a very family affair here at this it place. Is, it is a very family affair. I don't trust the cooking, the Vietnamese cooking, <laughs> anybody else but the family. <laughs> All right, now we're talking about uh, Vietnamese cooking and maybe trying to do this at home if, you, if you're uh, so gregarious. Uh, what are some helpful hints if I want to try to do some Vietnamese cooking at home? Well, one of the first things you want to do is you want to get the fresh produce. You want to get the fresh ingredients in here. So what we have here is we have the fresh mint here for you. We have basil, cilantro, the garlic, your fresh chili peppers. Um, and then over here we have your ginger roots, your lemongrass, your chive, and your garlic. And so you want to go go to the store like almost the day you're cooking it all up and on, really get the freshest stuff on a daily on a daily basis to get your fresh pro, you know the fresh ingredients in because that's very very important when you're trying to cook Vietnamese food. Now your second tip is don't forget the mint. So mint that important to Vietnamese mint cooking? Mint is very important only because it brings out the freshness of everything. You know when you're you're taking a bite into your, your food, uh, for instance the spring rolls, you're tasting that minty freshness to to the uh, the rolls and your third tip is it's very important you know Vietnamese cooking is about uh, you know the flavors and a lot of the flavors come from the fish sauce so it's very important that you get a high quality fish sauce where you, you know it's going to taste good once you're cooking it now what now why what makes this fish sauce better than some others well it just it's it's based on how they make it and how it's it's fermented uh, we just, I just find that one a lot better than some of the other ones that are out there. Okay. And now here at Indo Chinois, you can tell by the pronunciation of the name, there's a French influence. There is a French influence to that, and you know, because Vietnam was a, a, a French colony for such a long time, you're going to get some of that influence into uh, Vietnamese cooking. And like a good son, you pay all respects to your mother and say most of these recipes and everything came straight from mom. It's from her. I've learned everything that I know how to cook from my mother. And, you know, I got to give her the credit where credit Excellent. is due. Well, we're going to test out some of Mama's recipes in the 8 o'clock hour. We're going to show you how to do some spring rolls. And we're also going to cook uh, this, what's the kind of chicken again? Lemongrass chicken. Lemongrass chicken in the 8 o'clock hour. Give you the recipe so you can try it at home and see if we can make it as good as Mama makes it, Ann and Russell. <laughs> I'm sure we can. Getting us hungry here. This place yeah. has some good food. Really mm -hmm. good food. Thanks. Thank okay. You. By the way. Hey everybody, welcome back to Good Day Tampa Bay. Charlie Belcher here at Indo Chinois, Vietnamese restaurant with a French flair to it. This is Mike Wynn, proprietor and family man because the whole family's here. The whole Wynn family is here and they're, they're here all the time, every night and uh, afternoon. You got open for lunch, Mike? We are. We're open from 11 yeah. to 2 for lunch. Okay, so, so you guys are here all day long and all, all night long and cooking yeah. up great That's Vietnamese right. food. Uh, and, and it has a, a, a French flair because Vietnam has a French flair. It does, it does. Vietnam was a French colony for a very long time, so therefore there's a lot of that mixed in with the Vietnamese cooking. <clears throat> All right, we're, we're going to show people how to make spring rolls at home. So first and foremost, you need some rice paper. You definitely need some rice paper to start. All right, any particular, what am I, you know, am I looking for anything special? Nothing, so, it's just the, the ones that are nice and thin. You have some of the ones that are made that's kind of thick and you don't want to use that okay. because it becomes too chewy. All right, take me through it, my friend. Okay, first of all, you, what you want to do is you want to dip your uh, rice paper into some warm water. All right. Maybe about halfway down, and then the other half in. Okay. Then you want to lay to make it. it kind of pliable so we can Nice and it, soft right? there for you. Put it on a nice clean surface here. Yeah. Clean, flat surface. What oh, kind of disappears? Oh, we're yeah. doing two at, we're two. We're doing two at once here? Two at once. That way, if you mess up the first one, you can have a second one. <laughs> I appreciate your vote of confidence. <laughs> you, you've seen the show. Thank you. <laughs> 
All right, we got the rice paper all ready to go. Okay. Now what are we doing? Now we're just going to let it dry for a couple of seconds here. All right. In the meantime, we want to grab the fresh produce like I mentioned here. Okay. You know, you have your lettuce, your, your fresh mint, your bean sprouts, and your chive there. All right. And then we also have your your shrimp and pork and rice noodles that you're going to add in. Okay. What's okay. going in first? Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to get some, some lettuce here. All right. All right. You want to lay it horizontally like this. Okay. Got that? Got okay. that. Yeah. We're going to do the other one. All right. Jolie, good job. I like, <laughs> I like how your dad is our cheerleader over there. Yeah. <laughs> good job. Your dad's more excited than anybody yeah. else. And then we want to take some mint leaf here. Right. Just pull the leaves off? Yes, pull the leaves off. How Just many leaves? As much as you like. I mean, I, I, like, I like a lot of mint in there because like it's the mint, the, mint, the more mintier, the better it is for me. Yeah, I like the mint. So too. let's just pour it in there. All right. All right. All right. We've got a minute left, Mike. So okay, we can go so cruise. let's let's go we with wow. some bean sprouts. We got to roll it up. Okay, yeah. bean sprouts right there. All right. Okay, so now from here we take shrimp. A couple of shrimps. A couple of shrimps. Lay it flat. Got that? Oh, you want to lay it flat there, down. Yeah, yeah you want to lay it flat down. Got ahead of myself. Take some pork. Some pork. All right, lay it there. And then we take some rice noodles. All right. Lay rice it on noodles. top of that. On top of the meat? All right. On top of the meat. Rice noodles. All right, let's Okay, ready? Up. You want to fold this side in. And then you want to take the other side in. Got it? Side like that? In like that. Yeah. Another side. Almost like a burrito. Not quite. Not, not too much. Not too much. I'm mixing my cultures. And then you want to, and then you want to roll up. Yeah. Roll up. Okay. I like to slowly, add some chives slowly. at the end here. Slowly. Oh, the, the, the chives the right at the up. end there. Okay. And then here you go. The wow, first spring roll. <laughs> Wait a second. Look. Wait. His looks like nice him, and mine looks like me. me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We're cooking uh, lemongrass chicken with mama a little bit later right here on Good Day Tampa Bay. It's not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> Teddy of our newsroom. He's at Indo Shinwa in South Tampa this morning. How'd I do? Pronounced perfectly, Anne. Nicely done. And when we continue, we are cooking lemongrass chicken with mama. Mama is the inspiration behind this restaurant, and you'll see why when Good Day continues. Welcome back to Good Day, everybody. We're hanging out at Indo Shinwa this morning with Mike Wynn and his mama, the inspiration behind this restaurant and all the recipes here. And she's going to tell us to, how to cook a very, very uh, traditional Vietnamese dish, right, Mike? Lemongrass chicken? Very, very traditional lemongrass chicken, and it's pronounced gia sao sa ok in Vietnamese. Yeah, all right. Now, yeah, mama was just telling me, let me tell you, teach me how to say that again. Yeah. Yeah. Sao. Sao. Sa. Sa. Uh. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Good Vietnamese. That is a difficult language. That is a difficult language. All right, let's start, Mama. Let's get us cooking. Wow. Mama doesn't speak great English, so Mike is going to kind of let us know what's going on as Mama cooks. You put in a little bit of the, the oil in there. Now you add the chicken in. So you just like uh, cook it up on the on the uh, stove top here. Yep. What is that? Stew a, little salt, garlic? a little bit of garlic in there. Nice hot heat. Now you're gonna put in some lemongrass. lemongrass. That's the that's the fresh lemongrass now, there. Can, I, can you get that lemongrass anywhere? Pretty much at any Asian uh, uh, supermarket, okay. any Asian store. It is a pepper. Crushed pepper right there. You want to add that? Make it kind of a little bit on the spicy side. Okay. Depending on how much you, uh, how spicy you like it. And folks, as we watch uh, Mama do her thing here, remember it's, uh, fish oh. sauce. Fish sauce. So you want to do? Oh, that's the fish sauce yes. you're doing yeah, earlier. Two, two tablespoons of fish, fish sauce. It is uh, sugar. We have three spoon, uh, teaspoons of sugar. Ooh, uh, fish sauce and sugar. Uh, yeah. This is a uh, little uh, bit. Uh, this is a uh, half a teaspoon of the thick soy sauce. There, it's like a molasses sauce. almost. Yeah. Oh wow, this looks thick. This yep. Is fish sauce. Yeah, this is a uh, water, four water. Four tablespoons of water, and there's there's her uh, there's her secret That's sauce. That's the secret sauce. That's Mama secret just sauce. shared the secret sauce. And if you want to, if you didn't catch it just then, you can always go to myfoxtampabay.com. You'll have our spring roll recipe from earlier, yeah. and you'll also uh, get Mama's lemongrass chicken. I can't believe you shared that ancient secret with us <laughs> on Good Day. We feel privileged. And I and I tasted this earlier, and oh my goodness gracious. It's really, really good. I'm glad we're able to share that sauce. Do you want to pull out the finished product for us there, Mike? Absolutely. We'll show it off here before we. 
And here we are. This oh is what gosh. it turns out to be. It is excellent. Mama, Beautiful. thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you very, very much. much. You're thank sweet. You. The whole Wynn family, very sweet people. Thank South Dale Mabry, Indo Chinois, Russell and Ann, come check right. it out. It used to be down on Gandhi, but they moved. They're up right. here. Right, and I'll tell you what, if you go there and you don't know exactly Thank what to you. get, don't worry about it, because Mike will take care of you and will <laughs> help you pick it out. So that's the th thing about that restaurant.